What's going on? So, I, you know, I think offensively, they're still okay. You look at last week, scored some points against the Lions. Tonight, they came out on fire, really self-inflicted. So, I, I'm not really worried about this offense. And they have right. a ton of weapons. They'll be fine there. However, defensively, last week, they got absolutely gassed. This week, the same thing. And a lot of it's been through the air. Part of what I think the issue is for the Minnesota Vikings is the quarterbacks that they're playing. You look at some of the tough games they won early, it was young guys. Jordan Love, C.J. Stroud, Brock Purdy. Last couple weeks, it's been veteran guys. Jared Goff, Matthew Stafford. This defense, especially in the secondary, is very weak, but how they get around it is they have Brian Flores, who dials up a ton of, you know, very exotic looks pre-snap. They drop, they bring pressures, they blitz here. It's hard to understand what's going on. Mm. So against some of the younger quarterbacks, you get fooled a little bit. You get tricked. You keep them in third and long situations. Against a guy like Matthew Stafford, he says, Brian Flores, draw up whatever you want. I've seen it all. <laughs> and guess what? I got Puka Nakua back. When I need my guy Cooper Cup, I got him. We got a run game. And you see that I mentioned that slip screen on third and nine in the fourth quarter. When you get gashed all week, that's when now even your veteran guys start to make mistakes. So I do worry that when they see a veteran quarterback like a Jared Goff, like a Matthew Stafford, that aren't going to be as tricked by, you know, some of the, the funky looks, if you will, it's going to be very tough for them to stop anybody. You know, this Rams team, this is a massive win for them, and a lot of people were picking the Rams. Yeah. And it was interesting because all week we were talking about possible trade rumors. Cooper Cup maybe getting dealt. Maybe he's going to be the next superstar to get dealt. Naku and Cup come back, and, and they're just firing on all cylinders. And you're starting to think, well, this division's kind of up for grabs, and they're not out of it yet. It's absolutely up for grabs. And I don't know why they would trade Cooper Cup other than the fact that they sit there and believe they can't win a Super Bowl. Because I'm telling you right now, they can win this division. They're three and four. The Seahawks right now are four and three in the lead with a game against Buffalo upcoming. So you said it. We saw it tonight, Jay. First and foremost, Matthew Stafford was slinging it all over the place. Guy looked incredible. Then you have Puka Nakua, who went off for over 100 yards, just right back in sync with Matthew Stafford. Kyron Williams mm. is incredible at the running back position. And Cooper Cup, the trade guy, is you know not used as much, probably the third weapon right now, but can still do it. Now, the one thing I will say if I'm a Rams front office person is, you know, Cooper was generally quiet for most of this game. The offense looked good. So you can sit here and say, can we win the division? Yeah, sure. Are we a Super Bowl roster? And if you don't believe that, I could see them moving, you know, Cooper Cup still sure. yeah. just because, hey, maybe we get a couple pieces on defense, load up for the future. Yeah. We still have Puka Nakua, Kyron Williams. We want to go that route. This is the, the you know, general direction how we feel. But that's a tough message to send to the players. And Cooper's owed, I think, $20 million over the next couple of seasons. So that might play into how tradable yes. he is. Um, he's standing by uh, with Kyron Williams. A couple Hart of people you were just talking about. Here's yeah. Kaylee Harton. Cooper needs a haircut. Uh, you know, I am a <laughs> long hair guy. I always found it tough when it was over my eyes. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure why he wouldn't just do the whole... Sunshine hair flip Maybe there? it's just a layer of protection <laughs> from the media. You know, if they can't see his eyes, they won't ask him as many questions. I actually wanted to ask you about Justin Jefferson. He looked frustrated on the sideline a lot yeah. through this game. But just another elite performance. In your eyes, still the number one receiver in this league? Yeah, I love the guy. I think he's the best receiver in the league. And why I say that, there's obviously great receivers. But he's the one guy that can do everything. There's not one thing on this you know, route tree, if you will, that he's not going to do. And this was a big play early in the game here. And why he gets open on this hook is because he's such a deep threat. And everyone knows that. So, boom, you're going to respect it, give you a little more cushion. Sam Darnold's able to paint it. But I say he does everything. Now we're talking a three-step slant. Doesn't really win huge there, but still makes a contested catch in, in traffic. Now we have another slant. This one, we that's a big win right there. We're pushing it. And then, again, at the end of the game, we oh, talked about this. That's just amazing. He's also going to make the acrobatic catches, which is unbelievable. So, I look at Jefferson and I say, okay, you know, when you compare him to other receivers in this league, let's say a Tyree Kill. Tyree, incredible player. And, but, you know, he's limited in some of the things he can do as a receiver because of his size. Right. You know, Jamar Chase, I would say incredible receiver. 
not as tall as Jefferson. I don't think he has as many tools as Justin Jefferson. Jefferson is going to win off the line slant. He's big enough to not get pressed. He's going to win go balls. He can stop your route on a dime. They even throw screens to him because he can make a man miss, and he's going to make the acrobatic catches. So if you're the Vikings or a Vikings fan, you got to be fired up because you got this guy for a long time, oh, yeah. and he's cooking. You're paying him, and he deserves every dime. Yes. Uh, now, I know you were excited about the Sunday Nighter.